everyone. Today for a really great side dish, I'm going to make roasted acorn squash. And I know everyone sees these in the supermarkets and they're like, oh, those are pretty. I think they're decorative. No, they're delicious. So what we're going to do, we need some stability here. This thing is hard to cut, so you might want to watch your fingers. <laughs> I don't know how to cut it. I'm sorry. It's really loud, I know. Almost done. That's how you gotta do it. I got it. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't need to be up like that anyway. So now, I'm gonna do the same thing like this. Alright, so this is starting to get. <laughs> I need a big, strong man. That's what I need. I hate doing this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna cut the other end off, so that'll be easier. Oh, that's much easier. So you just what, watched what not to do, right there. So now we are just going to have this. Now, there we go. We can do it. Ah, perfect. Now we are going to scoop out the seeds. Just, just like with a big old spoon, just like that. Come out really easy. There we go. There's one. Perfect, just like that. So now you're going to cut this in half. <laughs> oh, don't do this when anyone's sleeping, that's for sure. Whoop. There we go. Alright, so now I make them kind of big like this. You can hold a lot of goodies on there. So now we have our four pieces, just like this. Now we're going to kind of do like a salty, sweet thing which is going to be really good. I know you guys are going to like it. So we're going to do, first, of course, salt and pepper. And lots of it, because a lot of it falls down. And we we'll season it very well. Season that. And put some pepper. Now, we are going to add some rosemary and garlic, actually. Yes. We're crazy like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this all chopped up, our rosemary. You just want to rough chop it. You don't have to be too precise, but you also don't want to bite a, a big leaf. Get it stuck in your teeth. This is also a really great alternative to like sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving if you want. Or Christmas or anything like that. This is super easy. Hardest part is cutting the, the thing. And that is hard. Alright, so let's go ahead, sprinkle our rosemary on there. Just like this. And a little bit more. Perfect. Now we have some garlic. We're just gonna chop up. We want to also chop this up pretty fine too. We don't want big pieces of garlic. And then what you won't be expecting is we're gonna add some chili pepper, chili peppers, red pepper flakes. We're gonna add some brown sugar and a little drizzle of honey. It's gonna be so good. And we're gonna let it bake in there for like 30 minutes. It's gonna be perfection. So excited for this recipe. Whenever we do it, we usually just do like brown sugar and and butter and stuff like that, but I thought rosemary and garlic would be a nice alternative. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and do the same with this, sprinkle it on there. We're doing about three cloves of this. And now we're going to do some brown sugar on it, just a little bit.
brown sugar is almost going to caramelize on top. Be pretty liberal with this stuff right here. That's the good. Alright. Oh, my hands are dirty now. Alright. And <laughs> now we're going to add a little bit of honey. Just a drizzle of this. Ooh. Got some good honey too. About a teaspoon per one, I would say. Just like this. Just on each one. I'm going to go ahead and put these in our preheated oven. Perfect. Look at that. See? Who needs sweet potatoes when you got this? Looks awesome. Alright. Into the oven.